he said, why don't we start uh, with some Q&A? We welcome you to send in questions live uh, via chat to us here. And uh, once again, Matthew, he is an official representative of the City of Ottawa, the Economic Development Department, and uh, is therefore, you know, a representative of the city and would be a uh, fitting gentleman to answer the questions you have uh, with that visibility is that, and ours were also, <coughs> excuse me, headquartered uh, in Ottawa as well, Intact, the International Centre. Um, so let's jump around a little bit. You know, the first question here, uh, someone would like you to elaborate a little bit more about property prices. The person says, Matthew, please talk about property prices. Ottawa property price has increased so fast recently. Yes, no, definitely. Ottawa's uh, been, it's almost like we've been, I don't know, recently discovered or, <laughs> or something like that. The growth is tremendous, particularly in the west end of the city. Um, you know, it's interesting. Last year, uh, the condo market was uh, was a little bit softer. This year, it's going gangbusters. Not entirely sure uh, exactly where that's coming from. I think the Canadian Real Estate Association, CREA, uh, would be a good resource uh, for folks looking to get a much uh, deeper dive uh, into uh, the specifics on, um, on supply and what's been happening in Toronto and Vancouver uh, in terms of the extreme elevation of prices. Uh, some regulatory uh, um, burdens coming in to make it more difficult to uh, to purchase homes from outside the country. Uh, that may be driving some of the, the uh, growth in Ottawa. I also think, frankly, um, it's the job landscape. It's tremendous. Um, and I think that you're starting to see, uh, particularly in residential areas that, have, that border uh, some of our hot uh, uh, tech sector, um, you're, you're starting to see those prices catch up. Uh, to the reality of uh, the, the compensation levels in Ottawa. Um, I don't know if there's anything further I could add to that, but I, I guess I'll just do another plug for uh, the uh, Canadian Real Estate Association. Uh, again, they would be the specialists if you're looking to really kind of break down city by city um, uh, where the latest movements and trends are. Uh, I would uh, I would Google them and check out their site. Well said, yeah, I believe it's www.crea.com. That's right, I think yeah. so. Yeah. It's a great, it's a pretty concise website. And um, I guess I would say, even with the run-up in prices, we, we remain uh, among the most affordable uh, cities, uh, the major sort of 1 million plus population category. Uh, certainly still more affordable than Toronto, more affordable than Vancouver. Um, I think, I'm not sure where Montreal stands. Montreal has also been experiencing some tremendous uh, value uplift in their real estate market. Uh, I haven't seen the latest information on that, uh, but again, that's something that uh, a CREA would be able to provide you with more details on. Thank you, Matthew. So moving on, we have a comment and not a question. Someone says, quote, very good and clear presentation. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> nice comment from uh, a gentleman. So let's move on to the next question about employment. Um, is Ottawa open to customer service officers and managers? I have five plus years experience in customer service in banking. Is Ottawa open to customer service? Are there, there are these types of customer service, financial customer service roles in Ottawa in your opinion? Certainly, yes, I think so. And I mean, you mentioned the example of your background coming from the banking sector. Uh, so, you know, the financial capital in, in um, Canada really is Toronto. The largest offices are based in Toronto. That being said, there is still a substantial footprint in Ottawa because of the fact it's the nation's capital and the federal government has the regulatory oversight of the uh, Canadian banks, again, here in Ottawa. Uh, so you'll see a bit of a, a larger presence than you might otherwise see in cities of our size for the major banks. Um, and so I think, you know, there's an opportunity there uh, through the banking sector uh, in Ottawa that's probably outside of Toronto is, is a bit unique uh, compared to other mid-sized cities. I also think that even the city of Ottawa as an employer itself, we're uh, constantly growing and innovating in uh, the department that we would call Service Ottawa. You know, the municipality is a tremendously forward-facing um, uh, organization. We deliver your water, we get rid of your wastewater. We pick up your, your solid waste, we process that solid waste. We deliver your public transportation. Uh, we maintain and, and uh, deliver your new road network. Um, we uh, are the sole share, although the, the, the public sector, the, pardon me, the, um, the power utility is a separate uh, organization from the government proper. The city of Ottawa is the sole shareholder of Hydro Ottawa. So we're a bit of an arm's length uh, connected to the, the provision of your electrical power. 
there is a tremendous amount of, uh, of forward-facing, service-oriented uh, work that the City of Ottawa does. Uh, we're constantly looking for uh, talented, experienced individuals uh, who can operate in that environment and improve the way we uh, uh, engage with our citizens, particularly as the city continues to grow at such a rapid pace. And frankly, we're also interested in dealing with uh, technology, uh, people who, who are familiar with the high tech sector. We're doing tremendous strides in terms of our open data program, uh, bringing as much of our digitizing as much of the data as the city of Ottawa collects and opening that up to the, uh, the community for free. Uh, making it accessible to folks not only that are extremely technically skilled, uh, but also folks that are, I like to say, technologically literate, um, to be able to work with that data. Uh, we have a number of community-driven apps uh, that are free to use, that have been built by the community, not by the city, uh, done in partnership with us as we provide them the data that they need. Uh, so we're constantly seeking to foster an environment where uh, we're not only encouraging these um, uh, entrepreneurs in, uh, in developing uh, products and companies, uh, but we're also seeking to leverage them to improve our service offering. Um, so maybe I'll leave it at that, just two examples. And I would, on a more micro level, in terms of the impact of VCE, whether today or tomorrow, the person that asks that question about customer service roles, um, TD Bank, TD Canada Trust, their booth, as well as uh, Rogers Communications, both those employers employ hundreds of customer service representatives here in Ottawa, in the east end of Ottawa. And uh, TD Bank was just at our Intac offices uh, a few weeks ago looking for customer service representatives, uh, particularly with both Mandarin and Cantonese. Um, but that's just an example of uh, uh, they, they're, they're always looking for people just like you, sir or madam, uh, that ask that question. People that have uh, a customer service, uh, you know, tenured history within the financial services or banking industry. Yes, uh, I would check. I would suggest you peruse the uh, TD booth, or um, perhaps have transferable skills to uh, to a telecom company like Rogers Communications. Um, and even if you're not able to engage with one of the reps in the booth, doesn't mean you can't apply for one of the jobs, the customer service jobs. At the end of the day, if you apply job through the link, they'll have your resume. Let's continue on, Matthew. Um, someone wants to know more about IT. What is, I want to know the area of IT that is mostly needed by companies in Ottawa. I think that's tough to answer because there's, there's a lot of demand. A lot of demand. Yeah. yeah. We were chatting with a company, I think, that was looking for, uh, I can't remember what it was, was it quantum computing? What was it when it first came here? They were the, yeah, yeah. There's so many. There's a tremendous number of uh, specializations. Um, you know, I think, as I mentioned earlier, ICT information uh, communications technology is probably our leading uh, sector right now. Uh, but again, we have well over 100 companies in, in uh, health tech, uh, aerospace. Um, you know, if I had to, uh, uh, I guess if you really wanted to dig into it, and who would have the, uh, the best sense of um, uh, what the specific companies are looking for and the most up-to-date information. I'm just going to go back a slide. I don't know if you can still see the, the slides on your screen. Yeah, they can. Yeah. Uh, but I would I would refer you back to uh, Invest Ottawa. Uh, they have a sort of a citywide focus. Uh, they're uh, currently engaged in partnerships with the uh, post-secondary institutions uh, to secure talent, uh, train talent, retain talent coming out of our universities. They're also doing pilots and experiments with our, our local um, uh, uh, hospitals in terms of um, health tech and bringing more and more technology into the way we do it in healthcare. Um, so they have a bit of a, a citywide perspective and can talk to you a bit about what their kind of member companies are saying that they're looking for. Uh, and again, Canada North BIA, I, I can't say enough about them. They're you know, Canada's largest technology park. Uh, they have a full-time staff dedicated strictly to uh, catering to the needs of the uh, uh, 1,400 odd companies, 1,700 companies that make up uh, their membership in their in their uh, geographic zone, um, so they can uh, get into much more detail. And I also believe there may be a portal where you can see uh, job postings for a variety of different companies within their uh, 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 membership base. So you don't have to go to each individual company to, to look at their job postings. Uh, it's a bit of a more of a one-stop shop. So uh, again, can can't say enough about our partners at Invest Ottawa and the Canada North uh, BIA. 
Uh, they do tremendous work. Uh, it's a huge ecosystem to keep track of, uh, and I really would recommend that you, uh, you engage with them directly. I think you'll find them very helpful. Yeah, thank you, Matthew. I mean, one of the next questions, which you don't really need to answer because you did address fairly at the tech park and KNBIA, yeah. um, but this person uh, was particularly keen on the technology park um, because you were aware of that, so yeah. that's why we're here today. Yeah. And their follow-up, it would be great if you could address the follow-up to the first question was, this person is interested in some of the PhD programs that we would have at our higher education institutions that would complement someone like him um, that is you know, already a mid-level technical professional and that's going to have a career here. Yeah, absolutely. Ottawa. Absolutely. Well, we have in Ottawa it's a, it's a, a initiative called Education City. And what that is designed to do is almost bring our all our post-secondaries in, in a collaborative way. Um, so rather than, you know, Carleton competes with the University of Ottawa, competes with Algonquin, et cetera, et cetera. Each one has their area of focus. And students can move seamlessly from each uh, institution to uh, achieve um, the certification in their in their work area. And what we've tried to do is make that as seamless a process between those institutions, and also now seeking to take that to the next level and plug that into uh, the private sector directly to smooth that transition from uh, your, uh, your the. Uh, your period of education into your period of employment. So, uh, you know, in a case uh, like what you mentioned, where you're already a mid-level professional, you're looking to um, to increase your your knowledge level uh, through the pursuit of a higher education, whether it's a master's or a PhD level. Uh, you know, you'd probably be looking at uh, either Carleton or um, or the University of Ottawa. Um, I, I'm a, a graduate of Carleton, so I know they have a tremendous engineering program. Uh, we've actually done some, some partnerships with uh, some uh, PhD candidates uh, seeking um, federal government funding for their, for their studies, uh, where we've provided them with, uh, with endorsements of some of the work that they're doing uh, for some of their uh, uh, projects. Uh, they partner with the city. Uh, we're doing things uh, to, re to research how we can better track uh, infrastructure maintenance and management. Uh, using uh, technology uh, to um, monitor our, our hardware and things like taking water pipes and others, uh, using remote technologies rather than manual checks, which is what we've been doing up until now, and other cities are still doing. Um, so, I guess in terms of the uh, the, the process itself, uh, you know, you're best to reach out to uh, Carleton and the University of Ottawa directly. Uh, what I can say is that we're constantly seeking ways of the city to act as a as a connector uh, between uh, the, uh, the private sector and the post-secondary institutions. Uh, we bring uh, groups together, or we call them our economic development stakeholders, uh, two to three times a year to look at kind of strategic systemic issues uh, and, and help kind of guide the work plan at the working level to, to better uh, uh, grow that collaboration. Great, it's great. Thank you, Matthew. Moving on, next question. I have over seven years of sales and marketing experience in wine, and, multinational wine and spirit in the industry. Nice. Uh, and <laughs> me too. And my my job is basically to make people happier. Um, my wife is in medical laboratory. She's a medical laboratory technologist. So I remember earlier you were talking about our health care and health sciences. So this question is, you know, that's my profile, that's my wife's profile. Yep. Uh, you know, do you think Ottawa would be a good place for us to start uh, our lives in Canada? Absolutely. Absolutely. I can't say enough about it. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll start with uh, the medical uh, field. You know, yeah. Ottawa, Ottawa has CHEO, uh, Children's Health the, uh, Hospital of Eastern Ontario. is probably the foremost um, um, pediatrics a hospital for young children. Uh, we have a tremendous uh, cancer program uh, dealing with uh, children who are struggling with cancer. Uh, it is uh, world renowned. We have a, a, a tremendous um, Ottawa Heart Institute. is uh, one of the best, uh, again, in the country. We uh, fly people in who are experiencing cardiac, uh, acute cardiac issues, are flown to Ottawa uh, to ensure that they receive the best care. Uh, so we have a, a tremendous uh, hospital sector. Uh, with a very high uh, uh, job satisfaction rate for people that work in that sector. Um, and also, I think Ottawa's done a, a 
if you don't mind, I'll brag here just for a little bit. I think we've done a pretty good job. Uh, and our, you know, the praise again goes to our uh, executive leadership at the hospitals, uh, but also the executive leadership uh, in our uh, technology companies, looking for ways creatively to work together to innovate, to integrate um, what we're doing and tackle the challenges that the hospitals are facing. How can we deliver better care? How can we deliver care more efficiently in a more cost effective manner? Um, so I think there's a tremendous amount of opportunity for, for technologists uh, in, the, uh, in the Medicare uh, field. We do a tremendous amount of research. Uh, I think I mentioned that earlier, talking about the lab environment, hundreds of millions of dollars uh, from the federal government, from the provincial government, from the private sector uh, in research uh, uh, opportunities here in, uh, in Ottawa. Well, maybe if I could just uh, go back to the question the gentleman uh, was saying, his his work background was in uh, wine and spirits, multinational wine and spirits, and multinational wine and spirits. So we have, I'm not sure if it counts as a spirit, we have a tremendous brew pub uh, uh, association uh, and more and more brew pubs coming online. Um, so there's an opportunity to, to um, engage on that side of the business. Um, Eastern Ontario um, is a, a, a growing wine destination vineyards uh, more and more vineyards are coming online uh, and again in spirits talk about innovation we have a, a, a company I'll, I'll just i don't want to go on too too long but i'll give you one example the auto has a, a tremendous agricultural uh, uh, portion of our economy uh, again 80 percent of our, our land mass is rural uh, so we're constantly looking for ways to innovate in the agricultural sector we're looking for ways to have smart agricultural uh, 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 sensors we're looking at autonomous uh, agricultural vehicles. Uh, we're looking at things like talking about spirits. In Ottawa, the dairy industry, uh, as they process uh, raw uh, uh, milk to, to uh, what they would sell in, the, in stores, uh, the byproduct right now, there's a, there's a, a sugary byproduct uh, that they currently have to pay to extract it and they have to pay to have it disposed of. They had not found a commercial use for it. And someone working in the spirits industry came along and realized that they could process that into a uh, distilled form of vodka. And so now you have a local startup uh, just outside the city of Ottawa limits, but still in our region, uh, called uh, I think it's called Vodka. And they have taken this uh, byproduct that was a cost for our agricultural uh, sector to have to deal with, and they've managed to monetize it, turn it into a spirit that they now sell, and so they're making money doing this. They're growing a business doing this, catering to a community need and people that are interested in trying it. Uh, and a, a, uh, what was a, and they've actually turned it now into a, for them, distillers industry. Just one example of, uh, an innovative approach to the challenges that uh, the modern uh, the economy is facing as we modernize, and one that I think might be particularly relevant for you given your experience in the uh, in the wine and spirits industry. Thank you, Matthew. The for the comment, and I will read it, and I will, if you don't mind, address it as well. I have ten years' experience in the IT field between development analysis and solution architecture. I believe Ottawa will be a great place for me. Hopefully there's an option to immigrate there with a job offer, um, potentially a nomination as this person is E Express entry. Um, yeah, we hope and we believe that Ottawa is a great place for you. As Matthew said, um, Matthew, Ottawa is the largest IT sort of cluster in Canada, that way. Correct. Yeah. 1,700 plus companies. Companies, yeah. And I wanted to sort of step in on behalf of a partner to the city of Ottawa because in the Intact BCE in the floor, not in the Discover Canada auditorium, which we are doing now, but in the floor, a lot of those companies have operations in Ottawa or are in Ottawa, literally, and I'm going to say a few of them. So Tech Insights, the one of the main sponsors of the Intact National Virtual Career Expo, they're a great company, you know, hundreds of people, global offices, cutting edge technology, been around for 30, 35, 40 years, 30, 30 plus approximately. I mean, they're looking for skilled workers, engineers, full stack developers. I suggest that you go to their booth. You know, um, like Matthew said that, uh, you know, some of the, you know, the origins are sort of the telecom. Mm -hmm. We're not going to get into that because Matthew, you know, <laughs> Nortel and all this, but, yeah. and someone 
here, they said, I like or I notice now that you have a lot of the multinationals, like the Nokia, Ericsson, right. Huawei. Yeah. Matthew can sort of maybe explain why, but you know, a lot of those companies, even Intac, we work with them as well. They are participating in the VCE. Um, some of the networking, like Elastilink, um, you know, Infinera, Sienna is not participating. We know they're just here last week. Um, you know, Lixar, CypherCore, IBM, some of the IT security, Red, you know, Red Canary, uh, the Jack and Jill of all trades, uh, you know, Grade A, Zen Nation. A lot of these companies have booths to have jobs for you to apply in the Intact VCE. And uh, definitely the Canadian CIA website as well. Yep. Um, and why don't you just explain why, you know, a lot of the, um, a lot of the R&D shops of the Huawei, Ericsson, Sienna, and Finera, they're all here in Ottawa. They're not in Toronto. They're not in Medford. Usually, you know, why there's that telecom origin story that people yeah. might not know. You can give the 60-second sure. reason Absolutely. for that. Absolutely. Well, and I mean, you know, essentially, I mean, Ottawa, North Hill Network, 90% of the research and development dollars invested in information communications technology invested in Ottawa and, and this room. Uh, so what we're looking at here is uh, this nexus of a workforce of, of, uh, that made it, it just made sense for more and more companies to come here. And the uh, dot-com bust, uh, Nortel unfortunately went under, but we've seen Rather than losing all that talent, it almost it's essentially fragmented the landscape. And we had a number of medium-sized companies uh, over the over the following decade rose up to to together um, kind of fill that void. And I think in the long run, it's actually been a little bit better uh, for us in the sense that we're not vulnerable to kind of a single large company uh, meltdown. Uh, we have a more diverse. Uh, ecosystem, and uh, uh, I think that's then in turn attracted back the big multinationals when they look at it and say, hey, we have over 75,000 uh, uh, highly skilled employees located right here in this city of, of, of a million people total. So I mean, I, I'd have to look at the number for what it is over the workforce, but 7.5% of our total population works in ICT uh, here in Ottawa. So. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a tremendous concentration. Uh, it's a tremendous opportunity for them to plug into the talent pool. And I think that's what's, uh, that's what's attractive to a number of these companies. Absolutely. And once again, a number of these companies are, are participating in the Intact VC. So, you know, I would encourage you to go to their booths and apply to roles as much as you can. Uh, and if you are not able to access the floor today, you can do so tomorrow. And once again, I would urge you to apply. A lot of the companies that I that I mentioned and that Matthew mentioned, whether they're the telecoms, enterprise software, uh, a lot of them can be found in the Intact National Virtual Career Expo. And we, sorry, we could not address everyone's questions, but we, we really got through a lot of them. And, um, you know, because we are headquartered in Ottawa, this is the nation's capital, as Matthew said, if, if, we, if Matthew Easton wasn't able to answer all your questions, I mean, a lot of the intact representatives that you would see in the fair online, um, they would be able to ask, sorry, answer and address a lot of your Ottawa IT or even questions as we are headquartered in Ottawa. Um, we're a national organization, but um, I mean, we're, we're, we're here. We're all here together. So we encourage you to participate. Um, the resources are here, uh, shared with you by the city of Ottawa and Matthew Easton. And we'd just like to give Matthew uh, the final words. Before we are joined by the City of London, London, Ontario, the London Economic Development Commission at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, that's in about 13, 14 minutes. But now we'll let Matthew Easton say the final word on behalf of Ottawa. London, also a beautiful city. My wife worked there for almost a year. So very nice, uh, very nice place. But back to Ottawa. Uh, I guess I would say, uh, how can I sum it up? It's a beautiful city. I chose to live here. My wife chose to live here. We came from other Canadian cities. And we fell in love within a few years of arriving. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of Canadian history here. Uh, there's a, a tremendously diverse uh, community here. Uh, it doesn't matter where you come from, you will feel welcome in Ottawa. And I'll just say, we're growing. We're winning. Uh, we can barely keep up. I mean, more and more companies are coming online. Uh, this has been a, 
it's almost challenging to keep the machine moving, to keep it growing. This is not somewhere uh, where you're going to struggle to find things to do. Uh, we're struggling to find enough people to do all the things we need to have happen. Uh, so if you want to grow, if you want to live in a beautiful city, if you want to be part of uh, a growing community, I hope that this will happen.